Hello everybody, welcome back to youtube.com slash geekloud for another Let's Install and today we're doing something a bit differently. I'm going to simultaneously install Destiny 2 on an Xbox Series X and a PlayStation 5. Who knows how this is going to go? In theory, they should both kick off at the same time. We'll see how the networks go. Pressing A on both controllers, or A and X I suppose, uh, the Xbox... Oh, it's installing, I see, I've hit the wrong button on the Xbox. There we go, all right, now how's Destiny 2 going on the PlayStation 5? My goodness, <gasps> free up more space. How unfortunate. What can we quickly delete? We need 60 gigs, whoa. Uh, let's see, Rocket League can go. Fortnite? Did we kill Fortnite already? Are we there yet? 63, no, 41. Worms can go. Oh, Genshin Impact. 66, we're there. Delete. Okay. Uh, so the Xbox Series X has a decent head start here. It's uh, rocking in. It's already a 1.3 gig. Let's see how the PlayStation 5 goes. Oh my goodness. It is just not the easiest to uh, switch between yet. We'll get there though, where is it? Here we go, Destiny 2 is downloading. Where's the little job? It is what I'm looking for. Here we go. Now, how does that stack up? The other thing we can do is switch it that way. Is that gonna be easier to see? Nope, that's a lot worse. We'll go back to there. All right, so it's uh, 70 gigs on the Xbox Series X and only 60 gigs on the PlayStation 5. Who knows where that 10 gigs difference is? Here we go with the simultaneous let's install. <laughs> worth noting uh, they've just hit the crossover point the PlayStation 5 has just now for the first time overtaken the Xbox and the Xbox had a good uh, probably 30 second lead on it
Okay, getting exciting now, the last second. Here we go. PlayStation 5 is your winner. It's ready to play. Let's have a look. Now I can flick the boxes. There we go. You can keep your eye on the uh, Xbox while we have a look at uh, Destiny. See how Destiny goes. Uh, I should note uh, these are both wired into the exact same network. They're both uh, Ethernet cables straight into the back of the consoles uh, and downloading. There's no difference in their network connection. So uh, it's the 10 gigs difference. Sorry, I've got my monitor up here for the Xbox. Uh, yeah, see, about that 10 gigs difference, they're pretty close. They're pretty close. Had they have been the same size, they both would have finished at approximately the same time. Now, reading it off the store, when I downloaded this Destiny, it looked like it was the PS4 and PS5. It's that free upgrade we've seen for a lot of the other games. Uh, but it still looked like a PS4 game. So I'm just waiting until we get into a main menu here and we'll confirm that we have uh, successfully installed it. I mean, it's looking very successfully installed. Whoa, there we are. And all my characters appear to have been bumped up and reset. I think the last time I saw them, their power level was about 345. So a uh, significant change here. Let's just have a look at if it says here which version. If you product, no, it's PS4. Look at that. Now, I wonder if I go up here, can I... Uh, information, game version, here we go. That's weird. I'm on the PS5 version, game version. Oh, that would allow me to switch it to the PS4. That's right. So definitely confirmed. This is the PS5 version we're using. Uh, let's just jump on in and see how it works. Oh, we should also, hey, free trophies popping. Gotta love that. I'm not People sure how many of them unlocked. City. I don't think many, but uh, Humanity I will take them all. A devastating blow. Free trophies for the win. Let's have a little view of the trophies here. There we go. Six of 14, 40%. I'll take those extras. We have lost contact with... Holding circle, skipping cutscene. In we go. How is that Xbox doing? Wow. It's getting there slowly. Uh, yeah, still about 12 gigs to go, 12 minutes, a gig a minute. I'd buy that. <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. Wow. Uh, not getting a whole lot of rapidly into action status. The large service games, darkness. I guess, make it a little bit hard. And because it's been a while since I've played, there might have been a few uh, cutscenes that I've missed out on. Maybe it was playing a few cutscenes back to back for the expansion packs that I have not been playing. I'm not even sure I bought the year two pass, to be honest. Oh, no, didn't they give it away free or really cheap? I, I think actually I'm up to date with it. Beyond the ridge. We'd better hurry. Wow, it looks cool. So Let me just see, what are my options here? PS5 specifically? I, I, I was hoping to see some sort of uh, on a desolate moon myself. control options. What do we got? Video. Uh, 120 hertz mode. I wish I could have that on. Let's turn off the motion blur for one. Not a big fan of film frame either. Chromatic aberration, as I understand, is lens flare. And I don't mind the occasional lens flare. I'll leave that on. Uh, that seems like Now, controller. What do they have uh, with respect to adaptive triggers? Anything like this? Button layout, sensitivity, controller vibration is just on. No, nothing, uh, nothing specific to the PlayStation 5 I can see there. Uh, but my gosh, that looks good. A reminder, the uh, studio has been upgraded. It's a PS5, uh, nope, it's a 4K 60 uh, frames a second capture card now. So you can see the PS5 here in all its glory if you uh, up the YouTube resolution. How's it going on the Xbox? Still downloading. I'm not sure why we haven't seen an empty. An enemy, this is the emptiest I've ever seen Destiny. Uh, spawned in and there is nothing. Now, how do we uh, summon a vehicle? How do the vehicles look? Oh. <laughs> How's the driving look? Not great. Oh, come on, Destiny 2 on Xbox Series X. 
download. The interesting thing will be if we get our character here along a little bit and then we uh, launch it on the Xbox, I wonder if it's going to log us out of the PS4 version. Surely we can't be logged in simultaneously on two... We're close uh, to the origin point. Barracks is distressing. Two devices. Oh, man. I thought I was going to drop into that ridge then. There's the drop into the ridge. <laughs> Almost made it. They really don't want you to record a lot of uh, destiny. That nag message coming up a lot. Oh, nice and much. Compute. How do I... Uh... Oh my gosh, I cannot... Oh, it's trackpad, isn't it? <laughs> Too far. I cannot remember the controls of this game. Can we return to orbit? How about if we can see, like, the tower? Return to orbit. Here we go. Let's have a little look at the tower. Something we're a bit more familiar with than a sparse snow planet. Potentially hot. All right, open director, how are we looking? Let's have a look at something we know. Where's the tower? Oh, and it looks like we'll even be able to pick a little something up at the tower. My gosh, that load screen looks a lot better on the PS5. Whoa. How's that Xbox looking? 88%, eight gig to go, eight minutes. Yep, that's... Uh, that's a relatively locked in frame rate. Uh, download rate, I should say. Nothing to do with frames at all. That load is significantly faster on the PS5. Wow, I reckon that's, it felt like about a third of the time you would have waited on the PS4. Uh, uh, we've got something over here we can pick up, but that looks pretty good. Now, we'll ever so quickly just go to standard so you can, oh, see, now I've got the cards inverted. That's why that standard one's not going to work. Sorry, this is the best I can do for you. Take a What's the gunsmith there? Triumphs. Why does it want me to collect triumphs? Is there, is it the one with a little plus? Is that what it wants me to click on? Do I need to, oh, okay, you can click those. Look at that. How exciting. It'll be funny if we uh, switch over to the Xbox and then can claim these again and we get more uh, whatever currency or credits these are giving us. Hopefully that guy's done now. What is this? Quest of our acquire. I suppose we want to acquire all three or are these time limited and in which case I don't really want to acquire them. See now, there's uh, there's something I haven't purchased. I wonder if uh, it's if, if if there's any of the updates included on the Game Pass. It is Game Pass, I believe. Destiny Two on the Xbox is uh, via Game Pass. Now I did purchase it back in the day, so I do own it on the Xbox. But I believe it has since been added to Game Pass. So I'm wondering if this expansion pass, I might already have access to it on the other console. So we'll be watching. We're certainly won't we'll be paying for it here until I can confirm that. Where is all our stuff? Do we have any mail? We may have some cool items sent to us. Step on up. Take a look. Postmaster, here we go. Checking right now. Nothing. Yeah, we got nice. nothing. Hi. The only other um the only other landmass that I'm, oh, should I be speaking to him? Is he got the next part of the quest? The character models look significantly low res now compared to the environment they're standing in. The main guys look fine, but have a look at these guards. Those guys look almost uh, Crackdown 3-esque in low, low resolution models. Are you ready? All right, let's uh, return to orbit, or did we have something on open director? Here we go. Where's our little jobby? We have much to discuss. We have no, nothing's pulsing at us. Stay All right, strong. let's us check out how the European dead zone. Let's have a look at the European dead zone, shall we? 
where is that standard, the one you land and the, uh, you know, next to the church and everything? I, I think it's here. I think this is the main church. This is like level one. Hopefully, if anybody's played Destiny, this is the one they'll remember uh, and we can get a good uh, good look at it, how it's changed for the PS5. Still rocking in. Another, what, uh, five gigs and five minutes to go on the Xbox version? <laughs> then we'll flick over to it and have a good look. Oh, I should definitely time this. Would be uh, good to see its time directly compared to... I'll kick off a load, I'll move both the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox One X if they'll let me log in simultaneously. Or we can just redo that in time and post, I guess. Wow. That looks nice. That is uh, phenomenal. I, that, that is draw-droppingly draw gorgeous. My God, they've done some work. Looks great, like everything's got a real vibrant look to it. Guns still feel awesome. As you'd expect. Uh, I'm registering a little bit. You know, it feels good on the dual sense, but I haven't uh, haven't played enough of it yet to know if there's anything particularly nice. It feels uh, on par with Call of Duty's Dual sense usage, I would suggest. Man, the camera wobble is nice, but there's definitely, this is definitely running at a higher frame rate. I would suggest it's gone from a solid 30 the last time I played to a solid 50 right now. This looks phenomenal. What's going on with the Xbox? Oh, there it is. How's it looking? Looks like the fallen are bringing in. Oh, yeah, it's still chugging along. Three and a half minutes left. So close. Uh, I'm just going to have a little drive down the bottom there to the uh, that little encounter. What is the boost? The boost is L2. I keep hitting the shoulder buttons for boost. Do I still have motion blur on that? It has a distinct motion blur look to it. And I was pretty sure I'd turn that off. Video. Motion blur is on. Let's see. Off. Film grain. Off. A glimmer mining. Oh, I didn't apply Shut changes. That's what happened before. All right, let's see how it looks now. That blur's gone. This frame rate is phenomenal. Guardian, the coordinates, the this is silky smooth. I can't uh, encourage you enough if you have the capabilities. We'll upgrade inside, to the. Uh, the less active on those levels. Uh, up your uh, uh, your video here to the 4K 60. This is can. an absolute visual treat. Often. Uh, this will certainly get, get me playing some more Destiny 2 on the PS5. Well, this is phenomenal. I can't wait to see it on the Xbox now and uh, since we met, but I used to give it a good look and see what the difference is. It's quiet out here. No one to bother me. <laughs> or for me to bother. <laughs> oh my goodness. And that's how you get your uh, little vehicle stuck. Every time I've been down here... It's been full of enemies. I'm not sure why we've only got the two. Ah, oh, requires event participation. We must have just missed out on that one, I reckon. Well, call me very impressed. This is... Uh, Draw dropping. Draw, draw dropping? It's like your jaw, but it's the draw. Draw dropping. <laughs> this is great. Truly fantastic upgrade. Absolutely phenomenal. Higher frame rate, higher resolution, silky smooth. This is uh, this is right up there. That's phenomenally impressive. The Xbox is close. What are we sitting at? Ninety-nine percent. We best uh, we best switch over. How do I do it? I need to hit what that button. That gets me there. Now, what's going to be the best thing we can leave on the? Uh, if I can get a nice frame up. Here we go. It's ready to start anyway. 
on the Xbox. Oh, I don't want to be looking at the wall. Look at that. All right. There's a little bit of that sky. Oh, the building looks a little bit dodgy. Looks like we're waiting for a texture to pop in. Oh, now if I click over to standard, I'm going to be able to see that a bit better. All right. Destiny 2, let's have a look here. And uh, sorry, I just can't route this into the monitor, but we'll confirm this is a, a successful install once we see that menu. And uh, hopefully we'll see all my characters again. And I wonder if the PS5 is going to get logged out. I'll in fact put the PS5 up there so you can see what happens if it's going to uh, if it's going to log me out on the PS5 when I launch as the same character on the Xbox Series X here. I'm not sure if uh, I'm not sure if Bungie will be too happy with me playing the same account. No, there it goes. I think it's just kicked me. Yes, there's the error. All right, so now we see the PS5's been kicked, no worries. So this is just the Xbox Series X now. Uh, what were we, the Titan? We'll just jump in and have a quick look, then we'll confirm the install size. Oh, it's going to give us all the videos again. Oh, but we get the achievements unlocked. I'll certainly take that. Uh, okay, okay, okay. All right, let's just quickly run down to the European Dead Zone again, and we will have a look at the exact same part of that map. Where was it? My gosh. It's right there, isn't it? And launching. I might just flick a... I'll flick the cables on the back just so we're getting the 4K capture here on the Xbox Series X. Uh, I apologise. This is going to get a little bit ugly for one second. There's the PlayStation not happy. It's just been kicked down to a 1080p capture card. We'll leave that there. All right, so now we're definitely getting the 4K60 coming off the Xbox Series X. And this looks great. It looks great. Now, let's have a look. Is Did it uh, think to keep the motion blur and everything off, I wonder, if it carried over? No, so let's turn off the motion blur and the film grain again That's and apply those changes. Hold them off while I transmit this. All right, well, that looks pretty good. Let's just check the install size. Oh, we didn't check the install size on the PS5 either, did we? Manage games and add-ons. Here we go. Full 70 gig version 1.0.1.2386. Uh, 70 gigs, no updates. Does it give us a breakdown further? No, nope, just that. Oh, there we are. And a bunch of add-ons. Well, I guess we should select all those and install them. Save changes. Oh, <laughs> man, they got installed quick. I wonder if they were already installed and just not... Uh... Oh, no, here we go. Here's the queue. It's working on it. Now, what does the PS5 have to say for itself with respect to uh, the full... Ins oh, I'm going the wrong way. I want to go there. I want to hit the options button on the DualSense and information. Where is it? There it is. Sorry, I've got to get up here and have a look. Version 1.001, that is a 61.79 gig. 61.79 on the uh, PS5 and 70 gig. On the PS4, I hit res uh, on the, nope, 70 gig on the Xbox Series X. Uh, da -da -da. Well, it's interesting that it was 10 gigs bigger on the Xbox 
and it uh, didn't have all this extra DLC. But I'm wondering if they're tiny little license files and whether the the main size, like, are they only going to be 10 meg each, for argument's sake, or when it gets down here to the actual uh, the forsaken DLC, for example, is that going to be, you know, 10 or 20 gigs or something? Who knows? This install continues. This is the install that keeps on keeping on. Uh, we're going to kill the PS5. I think we've done everything we can on there. Good night, PS5. And then we'll return to the standard one there or maybe something like that. Oh, that's the wrong one. Hmm. All right. That's the best way I can handle that one. Uh, all right. This is still installing. They are coming in at about 10 megs a piece, as I said, but we will get to Curse of Osiris. No, Forsaken will be the first one. The Forsaken and uh, Curse of Osiris. I'm wondering whether they are going to be already included and they'll just be a tiny little 10 meg or whether they're going to be somewhat bigger. Let's wait and watch. Let's install. Well, that was relatively straightforward. I call us lucky getting those uh, for the 10 megs. That's good to know, though. The vast majority is included in the one Sign install. It's exactly how you want it to be done. It's quiet uh, out here. So we're back in-game. Interesting that it was installing that while we were in-game. Uh, and it didn't need to go back to the menu. But let's have a look. Can we... If we go to the tower now... I wonder if uh, speaking the old mate's still going to prompt us to get whatever the latest bit of DLC authorization is, or whether it's included in Game Pass. As I indicated earlier, I thought possibly it'll be included in Game Pass and we'll get away with it. So we'll just run into the tower and see what they say when we get there. Will we be right? Hopefully we will be. Oh, and the uh, what's what's the time? We should compare this time uh, to how we just saw it on the PS5. So this is the Xbox Series X version. This feels longer. This feels slower. That feels more like the PS4, Xbox One. Uh, well, the the Pro version, the PS4 Pro, and the um, Xbox. I want to call it the Series X. It wasn't, was it? Xbox Elite? No, the controller's the Elite. What was the high-end Xbox Series X? Hmm. I cannot remember the name of the old Xbox now. Interesting that the Xbox version had mail and the PlayStation version didn't. Now, I'm pretty sure it was this bloke that uh, prompted us for the DLC purchase, was it not? Hmm, not seeing that there, or was it the, uh, it may have been the gunsmith. What does the gunsmith have to say for himself? 
No, no prompt. Oh, here it is here. Requires completion of the Beyond Light campaign, and I'm pretty sure that said purchase on the other one. So that explains that. Uh, play it on the Xbox Series X, I guess. If you've got a Game Pass subscription, you don't want to pay for that pass. Anyway, that is a successful install of Destiny 2 on both the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X. Thanks very much for watching. YouTube.com slash GeekLoud. I encourage you to check out the rest of the channel. We do Let's Discusses, Let's Installs, and on a very regular basis, we do live Let's Plays, Tuesdays and Thursdays, Sunday night, 8 p.m. Australian Eastern, right here. YouTube.com slash GeekLoud. Like it, subscribe it, you'll never miss it. Oh! Oh, trophy! <laughs> Finally! Yes! Avengers, assemble! He's trying to sweep up leaves in this world. And another one! <laughs>